Test one two. Test one two. Testing one two one Perfect. two one two one two. Perfect for me. From Branch McCracken Court in the Assembly Hall, this is Indiana University basketball. Tonight, the marquee game of the year to date, the number three ranked Hoosiers welcome the number one ranked team of the country, the Michigan Wolverines. The atmosphere for this game tonight has never been more electric in B-Time. There are some really good players in this game and two well-coached, tough teams. What are we in store for tonight? Two high octane teams going at each other. Neither one will back down. It's incredible the number of teams we have that are so strong. Physicality is second to none. I don't care how highly our teams are ranked. This will be the toughest that it's been in quite a while. You look at your schedule and say, where are we going to win a game? You just sort of strap it on and here you go. Set for action. This crowd is into it big time. Bounce pass to Jordan. Then outside to Christian. Now to Vic for three. And bingo! Vasquez throws up a shot. He won't go. Deflected by Cody Zeller. Victor's got it on the break. Victor down low. Ibi Hidwin throws it out to Jordy. Now to Yogi. Another three. Good again! They have knocked down every three point shot they've taken. Holy fire, Don. And a timeout by Michigan. The Hoosiers have jumped out on top by 11, 18 to 7, with 15, 25 on the clock. And this game is off to a rousing start. Remy spins to the right and got his pocket picked, and Burke takes it all the way and dumps it. And so Indiana has that lead cut down to 11. Cody, outside to Christian, open three, off the mark. Him back in, Cody Zeller, what an unbelievable rebound slam! Ten seconds left of the half. Burke against Sheehy, pulls up and lets it fly, buries it. And that was a big time shot for Burke. Michigan fights their way back from a 15-point deficit to make it 36-32. Trey Burke goes left side to Stauskas, then right back to Burke. Burke drives it right, pulls up, fires a three, and hits it. Man, this kid is red hot. We have a tie ball game, 40-40. First tie in this contest since it was 5-5. Five five. Burke the heart away. Hardaway on the baseline against Jordy, and Jordy picked his pocket, took it away from him, gives it to Yogi. Farrell with it, down to the baseline to Victor, inside, fakes, puts it up, and got it in a foul! Ola Depot is magic! Burke quickly down the floor. Fires to Hardaway, he lets it go from long range and buries it. And Indiana's lead dwindles down to four again. Yogi Ferrer, bounce pass to Jordan, lobs it into Vic! Oh, he missed the alley oop slam dunk out of bounds. That would have been unbelievable. Two point game now. Victor will drive on Hardaway, pulls up inside, great reverse, but Cody Zeller is there to slam it back home. Boy, does that get him jacked up here in the hall. Left side to Vic, he drives baseline. Throws it up, wouldn't go, Cody, another slam! Cody Zeller has slammed home two rebound baskets here. What a play by Cody Zeller. This crowd knows that this ball game is in hand. The pass up the floor to Vic, and he takes it in and slams it! As the horn sounds, it won't count.
The final score, Indiana 81, Michigan 73, and the Hoosiers more than likely will ascend to number one. I don't get the sense that these guys are locked into those rankings at all. That's not what they play for. Those things are nice, but these guys have figured out that if they're not improving, all these other teams are really improving. So we have to be. I just have a crazy passion for basketball. I think that's just in my bloodline of Peoria. Playground basketball for the kids in Peoria. This is where the reputations are made right here. Even kids from 50 miles come to the Carver Community Center to test themselves against the Peoria players. From Peoria, Illinois, number one, DJ Richardson. To have a kid from Peoria in the starting lineup for Illinois almost every year for 20 years is just amazing. But Peoria basketball was more than just going to Illinois. You had Mike Robinson, who was a McDonald's All-American, went to Purdue. A.J. Guyton went to Indiana. Sean Livingston obviously went straight to the NBA. I take a lot of pride in the fact that I'm a part of that Peoria tradition that went to the University of Illinois. Jerry was a great first guy for that Peoria pipeline. The Sergio McLeans, the Marcus Griffins, the Frankie Williams wanted to be like Jerry. They wanted to be at U of I. So I think Jerry certainly started the ball rolling. Frankie Williams, he was exciting. He was kind of a flashy passer. He could get to the rim. It's the Williams. Sergio McLean was kind of the, you know, we're going to play tough the way Peoria kids play. Showtime. Marcus Griffin really elevated the game and elevated the reputation of Peoria basketball. The lob to Griffin. Got it. They became national names. All the guys that, that played before me in Peoria, you know, I used to look up to. It was just a great opportunity for me to get a chance to play here. It is going to be really sad when DJ graduates because there's not another Peoria kid even on the horizon to go play for Illinois. You know the saying, all good things must come to an end. But there's also a saying that says, history has a way of repeating itself. So I'm sure there's some seventh and eighth graders out there that may end up starting a new tradition of Peoria players going to the University of Illinois. The Journey Big Ten Basketball is presented by Chase Freedom. Get your cash back. Go to chase.com freedom and activate bonus cash back today.